Today's presentation will be about the application of ePlan solutions in the food and beverage industry using ePlan pre-planning and ePlan fluid as the two solutions to get you started quickly and efficiently. My name is Sean Mulherin. I've been with ePlan for over 25 years now and currently working for the product management responsible for ePlan pre-planning and ePlan Electric P8 as well as ePlan Fluid. So let's get started. First off, I'll just give you a brief introduction of ePlan pre-planning and getting a better understanding of what the purpose of that software is. When we talk about ePlan pre-planning, we use it as an application to start capturing information upfront. And in the food and beverage industry, a requirement is to design PFDs, process flow diagrams, and PNIDs, process and instrumentation diagrams. So using ePlan pre-planning, you can cover those tasks, and you can also generate data sheets, generate specification sheets. You can structure your data. You can use the system for quoting and capture all of the information you need to start your controls design. Pre-planning can help you capture right up front all of your elements for process flow diagrams, such as define your tanks, all of the parameters associated with those tanks, identify what type of tanks you have, as well as the piping between those tanks to carry the various substances from the different mixing and processing tanks. Then you can capture all of your actuators, which are the devices that help you to carry the substance from one tank to another, such as your pumps, as well as your valves. Some of these valves are pneumatically actuated where ePlan fluid comes in to control all of the airflow to those specific actuators. Pre-planning also allows you to capture all of your sensors, all of your temperature sensors, your process, your pressure sensors, your level sensors, your flow sensors, all of the sensors that help you monitor and also control your process system. And once those items have been captured, you can also use pre-planning to tie them all into instrumentation devices. So linking the actuators, so the pumps or the valves with the temperature sensors or the pressure sensors in any given device to make sure that the process is correct. The huge benefit of pre-planning is not only can you capture your graphical information in the design, so while you're creating your PNIDs, you capture information, but on top of that, you can structure that data within pre-planning. And you can see here you have your storage area, tank farm, storage tank edition one, you've got your pumps, you've got your valves, you've got your level controllers, you've got your level indicators with alarms. So everything can be designed in a structured environment easily and conveniently using your graphical design. Additionally, if you have data already stored in Excel sheets, such as instrumentation lists or device lists, equipment lists, signal lists, all of those types of lists can easily be imported in ePlan and used as a starting point for your design or a starting point for information into your detail engineer. Here we can see a structured view capturing all of your I.O. requirements. So signals, whether it's inputs or outputs, digital or analog, can already be captured early on in the process design system and made available for your control systems later on. Additionally, importing the data, as I just mentioned, from external sources can help you also create data for your system easily in a structured environment. Pre-planning provides you the option to generate reports. So data sheets, specification sheets, equipment lists, cost estimation, signal list, all these types of reports that are today typically captured in Excel or using Word documents, you can easily generate these reports in ePlan and then use those reports further down the line or use them with your supply chain if needed. ePlan pre-planning can also be used as a quoting tool meaning that once I've created my PID or I've imported data using my structure, I can report this data and summarize all of the requirements, such as identify how many IOs do I need, digital, analog, or also calculate the planning time, the costing time, or the construction time, sorry, and, or the software programming time, and the total cost. These can all then be added in a report and used for quoting purposes to get an understanding of how much that system is going to cost. 
So at the end of the day, pre-planning would be your tool in the food and beverage industry to help you design your process control system. Let's jump into the software and see how that works live. Here I am in the ePlan platform environment. I've opened up ePlan and now I'm ready to start my design. So first off, we've got different types of pages, whether you wanna capture your PNIDs, your electrical schematics, your pneumatic diagrams. Here we are going to start with our process control system. So I could, of course, start inserting my symbols and start building up my design using symbols that are standard out of the box in ePlan. So here we've got our PNID library with symbols for process and instrumentation diagrams. And these symbols can easily be inserted in your drawing. Here we've got our electrical engineering symbols. These are all of the actuators. Then we've got our fluid power symbols, which are pneumatic or hydraulic actuators. And here we've got our process and engineering symbols, which are all of our symbols, such as valves, such as piping components, such as engines, and so on. All of these symbols can easily be selected and then inserted into the drawing to start your design. However, ePlan provides you with a much easier and quicker approach to start your design. This is called the macro technology. The macro technology is a collection of symbols that have already been created and combined to a specific circuit. Let's say I need a tank. So I'm gonna insert a macro. This macro contains a tank with already predefined valves and ports. So let's take a look at this tank with three ports. And there's my graphical view of that tank that I can easily now drop into my pre-planning structure. Here is my process system one. So it carries with it some level sensors. It carries with it some uh, the tank and also some air control valves. So these are my pneumatic valves with my pneumatic actuators. So I'm gonna bring in that system in here and I'm going to add it to my design environment. So this is one way of really quickly and easily starting off your PNIDs by inserting already predefined sections. So now I've got my air control valves, I've got my level sensors inside the tank, and under the level sensors, you can also see that I have my level functions associated with them and if I synchronize the data, I can easily see this information available in the tree. Each one of these objects can carry any type of data to help you reporting or also managing that data for your design environment. So here you can put cost of construction, of planning, of software if you want to. You can add technical values such as minimum, maximum values, state of aggregation, type of substance, and so on. Then I'm going to insert a, a pump. I need to carry my substance into the tank using a pump. So I'm gonna insert a Windows macro. This is this time not gonna be my tank, it's going to be a pump. And this pump using the tab key in ePlan, you can actually carry up to 26 different variations of the pump. So here I'm just gonna drop a pump for my supplement process. So this is this one here. I'm going to add it here to my process one. And I'm going to carry another pump for the main ingredient up here. And then using my connecting symbols, you can see that the system automatically places the lines and you don't have to do anything additional. Then I'm going to insert a substance. So identify the substance that I want to pump into my, my tank. So here's my substance. So I have a supplement here, bringing this. And this also brings with it all of the piping information. So what type of pipe is needed? Is it stainless steel? What the size of the pipe is going to be? What the class and everything additional associated with it? Here's my second piping definition coming with it and defining that particular environment. As you can see, creating PNIDs is really easy 
by simply using the macro technology in ePlan, helping you lay out your data structure. Now, I've created a PNID. Now I'd like to design the control system for these particular valves. As I mentioned earlier on, it's the tie-in between ePlan pre-planning, which is your PNID and your structure, and ePlan fluid. So now in this case, behind each valve, I've also got the valve actuator, which is my pneumatic actuator. And if I look at this actuator, I look at the properties of that actuator, I have some data, but I also have a macro. And this macro allows me to simply drag and drop my pneumatic control system directly into my design. So here is that control system associated to that valve. But before that, I need an air preparation unit. So let's insert an enclosure. I'm going to delete this one here. And let's just insert an enclosure into my system. So insert pre-planning macro. It's going to be my enclosure system. This enclosure system, via drag and drop, I'm going to create my electrical power supply. So you can see here, I've got my power supply. Then I'm going to create a new pneumatic air preparation unit. So here's my pre-planning object. This is going to be PNE1. It's going to be my air preparation unit. And behind this, prepara this air preparation unit, I'm going to store the macros or the design needed for that particular system. So here again, I'm going to use the macro technology in ePlan to help quickly and easily lay out that particular system. So if I go here to my PNID, Machine layout, medic. Uh, there we go. So my air preparation unit is right here. Okay, so now I've associated the circuit diagram to this object. And now all I need to do is take this air preparation unit, drag it into my system. And here we have my air preparation unit with all of the pneumatic controls, as well as my beginning for my valve manifold. So there's the start of my valve manifold, there's the end of my valve manifold, and now I'm going to link it up with all of the air control valves that I've placed in my PNID. So if I open up the PNID and I look it up those, or I look up those three different pneumatic controls, so I'm going to select them. And via drag and drop, I can just drop them into my system. And now you can see my process system one now has my air control valve, AC3. There's my supplement inlet valve, and it's connected to my valve manifold, and it's connected also to an I.O. So using pre-planning allows you to create your objects up front for your PNID, but also capture the objects that you'll need for your pneumatic system, and via drag and drop, easily integrate these designs into your detail engineering. Hence, making it a lot easier to quickly create your PNIDs as well as your pneumatic control system. So that was a brief view or introduction to pre-planning using pre-planning and ePlan fluid for food and beverage applications and streamlining your controls design. So from my side, Sean Mulheron, thank you very much for attending this presentation.